Thank you AI Arty for sponsoring this video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to enhance your video footage with the updated AI Arty Video Enhancer. If you are interested in enhancing your footage, AI Arty is now running an exclusive holiday promotion. So get your license while it lasts with the link in the description. Like I said in the intro, AI Arty Video Enhancer just got a large update, which brought us many new features like AI Dynamic Range Enhance and Color Grader, manual color tweaking. On top of that, you can also adjust the strength of the enhancement and use step mode to lower VRAM usage. By selecting the step mode, you'll actually get a better visual enhancement on your footage. On this color tab, you can do simple color adjustments like temperature and exposure. With HDR, you can enhance the dynamic range on your colors to get even better color grades and more details on your highlights and shadows. Let's start with the first clip. You can click on this question mark to see what the different AI models do. Because this clip is blurry, I'll use mode detail since it's optimized for deblurring. At this point, I don't need to upscale it since it's already in 4K. Let's see the results. Looks like it did a pretty good job to blurring the video and adding more details. Let's check if we can tweak the colors slightly. That looks better. Also by adjusting this slider, you can choose how powerful the enhancement is. Let's go to the next clip. Let's change the upscale to 1x since this clip is also in 4K. Let's see the results and after that I'll show you how to use the dynamic range enhancer and color grader. Once again the results look amazing. Click on the HDR checkbox. You can choose the preset for what kind of grade you want. I'll go with neutral. Let's see the results. That's amazing if you need a quick and good color grade for your clips. I'll also demonstrate the step mode with this clip. By selecting it, you'll get even greater results with much lower VRAM usage. It's a slight change, but still worth it in my opinion. Turbo, on the other hand, uses less rendering time, but at a slight loss of quality. Let's try the HDR conversion on another clip. Click on HDR and choose the preset. I'll choose graded this time and show you the difference between the modes. Let's move to the next clip where I'll show you the denoise abilities. Let's try a couple of different AI models and see which one gives the best result. I'll try Super Video at first. It looks great. It got rid of most of the noise, which is pretty cool. Let's try Mode Detail. I actually think Mode Detail gave slightly better results on this one, even though you can barely see any difference. I'll change the strength on the enhancement to get a little bit more natural looking picture. Let's see the results on another point of the video. The results look insane in my opinion. Let's also enable frame interpolation to get a smooth 60 frames per second playback and the ability to slow down the footage later if needed. Make sure all the export settings are how you want them and then click on Batch Export. Here's a quick before and after. Once again, if you are interested in enhancing your footage, AI Arty is now running an exclusive holiday promotion. So get your license while it lasts with the link in the description. That's basically it.